welcome to my channel April Flower Arts. I'm Tushala. Today I'm going to share with you my recipe for chicken wrap. It's a very spicy and yummy dish. So it's a very good main course dish and if you're hosting a party it is a good crowd pleaser. You can please your guests with this recipe. So let's see what are the ingredients we need for that. Firstly we need chicken. I've taken here around uh, 450 grams or 1 LB of chicken which is boneless. You can either mince it or cut it into very small pieces. I'm finely chopped onion. I've taken a small onion and one whole fig of garlic which has been finely chopped. A tablespoon of chopped ginger. Half a lemon or lime. Some bell peppers which have been chopped into small pieces and fresh coriander leaves and the spices you need are of course turmeric powder, red chili powder, coriander powder and garam masala, salt and black pepper powder and any cooking oil. So firstly I'm going to marinate the chicken for some time so I'm going to put some salt and black pepper powder and a quarter of a lemon or lime. So I'm going to mix it well and keep it aside for some time. Meanwhile the pan is heating up. So what I showed was the ingredients you require for the filling that is the chicken filling that you need for the Wrap. So let's see how to prepare the filling for the wrap. So I have a pan heating up with uh, 2 tablespoons of oil. The pan is at uh, medium to high heat. Oil is hot enough. I'm going to add the finely chopped onion into the oil. I'm going to season the onion with some salt and Sauté the onions till they become a little soft. The onions have become a little soft and they are starting to brown. At this point, I am going to add the marinated chicken into the pan. I am going to spread it into the pan. Make sure that the heat is at medium to high. So I'm gonna let it cook for 5 minutes. The chicken has been cooking for about uh, 4 to 5 minutes and uh, I'm giving it a stir. So I'm going to cook it until all the water, the juices from the chicken have evaporated. The chicken was cooking in its own juices. Now you can see that all the water or the juices from the chicken have, has evaporated. So now it's time to add the chopped ginger and garlic. So in goes the garlic and ginger. Mix it well. So just when you see that the smell of the raw smell of the garlic and the ginger is going away. It's time to add the spices. Firstly, I'm going to add half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, six well. So when you add the spices, it's better to reduce the heat to a minimum. Next, I'm going to add a tablespoon of coriander powder and I'm going to mix it very well. So the next spice to go in is the chili powder, red chili powder. I've added around a teaspoon of it. You can use as much as you can tolerate the spice. Okay, after the spices have blended well, it's time to add the tomatoes. I'm sorry I forgot to mention the tomatoes in the ingredient list. You'll need about a half a cup of tomato puree or you may either add a chopped tomato, one whole chopped tomato. So in goes the tomato puree into the chicken. 
So I have mixed the tomatoes with the chicken completely. Now I'm gonna cover it and let the chicken cook for another 10 minutes. So you can see that the chicken was cooking for about 10 to 12 minutes. So now it's time to add the bell peppers or capsicum. I'm going to add a little bit of salt for the bell peppers. And let it cook for another 5 minutes so that the bell peppers become soft and lend their flavor into the chicken. Chicken was cooking for another 5 minutes. The bell peppers have softened a little. So I gave a taste test and added more salt. So at this point you can add more salt into it if you want. So as the final step, I'm going to add few additional ingredients. A teaspoon of garam masala or you can even add chicken masala powder of your choice. Next I'm going to add some more black pepper powder to make it more spicy. I'm also going to add a teaspoon of sugar. So this is completely optional. Next I'm gonna squeeze the lemon juice of a quarter of a lemon or lime. So the chicken is completely cooked and it smells amazing right now in here. So I'm gonna switch off the stove and at the final step add lots of finely chopped coriander leaves. See how gorgeous it looks. So this can be used as a filling to the chicken wrap or you can just have it as such with your chapatis or rotis. So now that the chicken filling is ready, let's see how to make the wrap. So today to make the wrap, I've taken chapati dough which is nothing but whole, whole wheat flour dough. You can also use maida or all purpose flour dough. If you want to go through this process of making the wrap yourself, you can even use tortillas, store brought tortillas or frozen chapati. Even you can use taco shells to give it an international touch, an Indo-Mexican dish. So let's see how to make the wrap. So you will also need two eggs to hold the wrap and some loose flour to roll out the chapati. So I have uh, taken the dough in, in the size of a lemon. So dip it in loose flour, roll it into very thin chapati, as thin as possible. Making it as round as possible, but don't worry about the shape because Anyway, we are uh, using, for, using it for the wrap. The chapati has been rolled out. It's very thin, so I'm going to place it on the hot pan. So, we need to cook it on a very low flame for about one minute. In the, in the meantime, I'm gonna beat the egg with a fork. You can add a little bit of salt and black pepper powder into the egg as well. Egg mixture is ready. So one side of the chapati is cooked well. So make sure the flame is at minimum. So I'm gonna place some of the chicken filling into the chapati. The wrap now. Just bring the ends of the chapati together like that and press it so that it sticks and then bring the other ends as well like this and then just press it so when all the ends of the chapati have come together like this just add a little bit of the egg mixture that we had prepared just like that so this helps the wrap to stick well. So at this point I'm gonna add a little bit of oil around the wrap, a few drops of oil and then give it a flip. Just like that. 
I'm gonna let the wrap cook for a few minutes till can add a little bit of the egg mixture again on the other side okay the other side of the wrap is cooked now let's flip it so now you can see that the ends of the wrap have sealed very well so the chicken wrap looks ready let's plate it so the chicken wraps are ready I've served it onto the plate so I'm going to cut it and show it to you how it looks this is how the chicken wrap looks it looks so delicious serve it hot don't they look delicious so it's a definite crowd pleaser so what you can do during if you're hosting a party you can make these chapatis ahead of time but make sure they're not completely cooked they are half cooked and the filling also ahead of time and then assemble the wrap just before the party with the filling we have made you can make around seven to eight chicken wraps so if you enjoyed this recipe of chicken wraps please hit the like button subscribe to my channel and leave your comments and suggestions in the comments bar until next time, it's bye from me. Thanks for watching.